Hi everybody, it is December 1, 2017. I'm going to be recommending some videos for you to watch. I will be reading some of a comment that I received, a very important comment regarding Wi-Fi, but I'm going to start with playing this trailer. If you have not seen the documentary Take Back Your Power, click on the link below and watch the full documentary. This is the trailer. Uh, under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, the electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Dozens and dozens of people who are reporting some really huge billing spikes, in one case over 1,000%. The so-called smart grid that is as vulnerable as what we've got is not smart at all. It's a really, really stupid way. You've got massive data storage areas that never existed before, specifically to accommodate the accumulation of this kind of knowledge. What in the world are they trying to do with all this data? Why do they need to get into our lives this deeply? What you're seeing is the establishment of a sur of surveillance society. And then they can use the system to go back in time and scrutinize every decision we've ever made. Where does it stop? At what point do we draw the line? Clever people called the technology smart to make it seem intimidating so no one would question it. What I'm finding is that these smart meters are emitting radiation every few seconds. These things that they're installing would allow them to control every appliance in your house. What is it that makes the government think that they can usher us into a totalitarian state at all, much less without us even noticing? We are a necessary upgrade to the electricity grid. Okay, I'll try this one more time. Legally, are you allowed to refuse the new meter? <laughs> Okay, so the links will be below, and I mentioned in a video that I posted earlier, the 5G and Jerry Brown not signing the bill that would allow telecommunication, the telecommunications industry to just put 5G cells and antennas wherever the hell they want. He vetoed that bill. A lot of people think that that was Jerry Brown saying no to 5G. No, it was not. It was Jerry Brown not signing a bill. Why? Because, well, I'll show you in a minute what I think may have happened, but he not signing that bill, it just meant that local governments can fight all they want, the telecommunications industry. They can put up a fight, delay the rollout of 5G for maybe a couple of months, but eventually uh, the telecommunications industry will win. A lot of local government officials don't even want to take it on because Congress passed legislation allowing the telecommunications industry to do whatever the hell they want to do. Usurping local government's power, that's not how the Constitution works. But when you do have a fascist system, that's how it works. And we have a fascist government. It has merged with corporations, allowing corporations more power than government. All right. Um, so I mentioned in that video that I posted earlier that Jerry Brown, well, he may have gotten a notice. This notice. A... Notice of liability. It's possible. Notice of liability concerning trespassing technology. I will link below to this video, a mass action of liability. And in this video, um, Cass Washington speaks of 
this action that one can take. And he has taken it. And this is in relation to smart meters. It's in relation to utility companies. So when you uh, present this notice of liability to agents of utility companies, the CEOs of utility companies, well, he actually, the effect of he providing these notices of liability, presenting them to agents or CEOs, they quit. Okay. Um, personal liability scares people. Scares people. So these notices of liability are, should anybody be harmed by the smart meters? You are holding the agents the CEOs of these companies personally liable. All right, you're going to have to watch the video to understand how it works. I will also link below to this interview with EMF Warriors Cass Washington and Josh Del Sol, who, who made that documentary, Take Back Your Power. I'm also going to link below to Dutch Senses video that he posted February 28, 2017, um, where he is talking about HARP, Nexrad, uh, HARP rings, how it all works. I posted a video last night on these uh, radar beams shooting out from Houston, going all the way to Fort Worth, Texas, Dallas, Texas, and east of Dallas and ask people if they knew what these uh, radar beams, the consequence of them could be. Earthquakes, all right. Uh, this is a very interesting video with Dutch since explaining it all. And there's so many people, you know, underneath the videos that I posted on Kafka Winston World with mentioning HARP. HARP doesn't exist anymore. They shut down HARP. It does. It is operating. People are so easily manipulated by even just one news segment that they hear. Um, and that's it. They, they think that they know the truth. Well, the truth is, is that it is still operating. And the comment that I was talking about, I want to thank Blue Crow for writing it because it's so very important. And he or she left this comment a day ago. And it's strange, actually, because only a few days ago, I was talking to a subscriber, a friend in North Carolina, and she has been wanting to get rid of the Wi-Fi in her home. And she thought that getting an Ethernet cable was enough to get rid of the Wi-Fi. No, it's not. And then she thought, well, I shut off the Wi-Fi on my laptop or computer. That is not enough as well. How, I did, how did I learn this? When I moved into a house in 2009 in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, I didn't even know what Wi-Fi was. I was not hypersensitive to the frequencies at all. I had not done any research on... Wi-Fi and uh, microwave frequencies. All I knew was I did not want it. I have never been the, wow, isn't this great technology? I've not embraced it. I saw immediately that this is not going to be good. You know, everybody's talking about how, wow, it's going to bring people together and connect them. And I don't know, intuitively, I guess, I just got, this is going to drive people apart. It's not going to help with our uh, relationships or connections. So I didn't want Wi-Fi. My service provider was Verizon. I didn't even know the difference between a regular modem and a wireless modem. They gave me a wireless modem. I went for a late night or early morning walk. It was like 2 a.m. 
Great Barrington, Massachusetts, when the town is so dead. And I'm out there with my incredibly beautiful dogs. And I see Verizon on the street with a cop standing in the middle of the street. Now, get that Great Barrington. It, it was a main street about four blocks long and a sleepy little town. Nobody's at it 2 a.m. But there was Verizon and a cop, I guess, to direct traffic. But Verizon was just ripping up the street at 2 a.m. I thought, all right, this is bizarre. What is Verizon doing? Well, a few days after, and I don't know how I determined this, but my Wi-Fi was on. And I called Verizon, and I demanded that I wanted it shut down, and they, uh, the, the person that I was talking to, just walked me through all of the steps on my computer to shut down the Wi-Fi on the modem. It is not good enough that you just click the Wi-Fi, uh, uh, the setting on your computer on or off, or your laptop on or off, because the Wi-Fi signals are coming from the modem. You've got to shut the modem off. Now, I do know that some modems have a red light that indicates the Wi-Fi is on. I'm saying this for the same reason that Blue Crow wrote, Dear Carol, I write so as to tell you that many of your subscribers with cable internet connections may presently be getting blasted with wireless radiation despite the fact that they are not using any Wi-Fi features in their homes because of what would seem to be the automatic default settings of their cable modems. You've got to shut it off via your cable modem. So Blue Crow, thank you very much for writing out the steps. I'm not going to read it, but here are the steps. Pause the video, read this. And he or she does mention that this information that he sets out all of the steps to make sure that your Wi-Fi modem is off, it pertains to an AT&T Aris type cable modem. So every cable modem might be different. If you, if you have a different cable modem, you could call your service provider and demand that they walk you through the steps to ensure that your Wi-Fi modem is indeed turned off. Got it? Was that clear? I hope so. All right, links are below, and please do check out this uh, mass action of liability, how to present, how to um, hit your utility agents and companies, the CEO, with a notice of liability, personal liability. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend.